Lucien Levy Brule, Quid de Deo Seneca Censorit, Episode 3. An potterdra philosophia, quae mentes aigerdra sanardre, quae debeles rdrobardardre, quae tutius vitae dirigendae curdram suscipere amabat, ea dem tertio ante Christum, ea dem secundo post Christum seculo docere. He continues speaking about the changes that the Stoic philosophy went through, and now he asks another question. Or, was it possible for philosophy, or was philosophy able, on poterdra philosophia? This is feminine singular nominative, and it's the subject of potera. This goes with the infinitive docere. Could philosophy, and then we have a number of subordinations, three in fact, quae, quae, quae. Each one of these relative clauses has amabat as its finite verb. The antecedent of quae is philosophia. So in each one of these relatives, with quae as the subject, quae sanardre, quae rdrobardre, and quae suscipere with amabat. So was philosophy able, philosophy which was in the habit of amabat, amardre with the infinitive, amare, a form of amare, taking the infinitive, as amabat does here, according to Lewis and Short, means to be in the habit of or to be accustomed to. It's post-Augustan, that is, it's after the age of Augustus, post-classical and mostly poetic. Was philosophy able? Philosophy which typically or habitually heals sanare, sick minds, mentes agradras, which typically amabat or is in the custom of strengthening rdrabardradra, weak minds, which was in the habit of undertaking or accepting the kurdram, the oversight, tutius vitae dirigendi, of the whole course of life being guided. Dirigendi is a gerundive, that is a verbal adjective. It's built on the third conjugation verb, dirigo, dirigere, and its modifying vitae, as is tutius. They all three depend on kuram. So philosophy typically does these three things, heals sick minds, strengthens weak minds, and accepts the burden of caring for, curam suscipere, overseeing the care of or the management of the direction of the whole life, could philosophy, which does all those things, could it teach docere? Now we must ask, what is the object of docere? Docere has two objects, eadem. Could philosophy teach the same things in the third century, tertio ante Christum, in the third century before Christ, and teach the same things, eadem, in the second century, secundo, secundo seculo, which is often, perhaps more often, spelled seculo, in the second century after Christ. So, eadem and eadem, these are both neuter, plural, and accusative, the objects of docere, and these two clauses are quite similarly constructed. Tertio seculo, secundo seculo, ante Christum, post Christum. So the third century before Christ, let's say 299 BC, could philosophy teach the same things, eadem, as in the second century after Christ, perhaps 150 AD? That's the question which Levi Brule asks. And if you need a method for illustrating the concept of philosophy, why not word cloud?